Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I make a chicken cordon bleu skillet. Alright, I'm starting out in a large skillet. Over low heat I melted four tablespoons of butter. Now to that I'm going to add in two spoons of diced up garlic. If you use fresh garlic, use two cloves that you dice up. And I'm going to allow this to cook just for a minute. I have my heat down on very low because the cast iron holds the heat really well and gets hot. Just want to go just for not even a minute, a few seconds. That's ready to roll. Now I'm going to add in three tablespoons of flour. And we're going to build a roux here. We're going to make a cheese sauce for our casserole, or for our skillet. I just want to stir this around. And let it cook just for a minute to get the flour taste out. And guys, the smell of this garlic mixed with that butter is just really uh, something. It smells delicious. Okay, now that we allowed that to go for a minute, I'm going to add in four cups of chicken broth. I'm going to turn my heat up a little bit to like medium. We're going to bring this up to a gentle boil. I'm also going to add in one cup of heavy cream. Then it's a two cup container, so I'm just going to eyeball it. Now I'm going to allow this to simmer for a little bit until it starts to thicken. Okay, now that this simmered for a few minutes, I'm going to add in a teaspoon of ground mustard. And we'll go ahead and stir that in. And that'll help give it a good flavor. Now I have two cups of shredded Swiss cheese. I shredded this myself because I wanted to melt it. And the packaged stuff doesn't melt as good as stuff you shred yourself. I'm going to get that into our cream sauce. We're making a nice cheese sauce here, guys. And I have my heat set down on medium low. And I'm just going to stir this for a minute, allow that cheese to melt, and it won't take long because for one, Swiss cheese is a soft cheese, and two, by you shredding it yourself, it doesn't have the cellulose in it to keep it from sticking together. That helps prevent it from melting. All right, now I have three chicken breasts here. I baked at 400 degrees for 25 minutes, seasoned with a little salt before I put them in the oven, and then I shredded them up. We're going to get that in there. And I probably could get away with half this amount of chicken. Maybe I'll put the rest out for the cat. With a cat named Midnight. An outside cat. I think I'll set that off for him. And I have a cup of deli ham here. I sliced or cut up into little cubes. We're going to break that down into our cheese sauce. And guys, you can see how nice and uh, rich this sauce is going to be. I ordered cat food for midnight on uh, Walmart.com. We did a grocery pickup. Well, I guess they didn't have it. They didn't let me know they didn't have it. Well, I've been feeding midnight tuna, canned tuna. I think for a change, I'm going to give them some uh, of this chicken. All right, I have a pound of penny pasta here. I boiled to the directions on the package, and I drained. We're getting that in the skillet, and that's why you want to go with a big skillet. If you don't have a big skillet, guys, mix this in a pot and put it right into a 9 by 13 baking pan. I'm going to give that a stir. And you just want to get your sauce up over your pasta. That way, while this bakes, your pasta won't dry out. And the pasta will help absorb some of that sauce, that cheese sauce, as this bakes and help to thicken it up. You just want to mix everything together good without spilling all over the floor. All right. I'm going to take some shredded Parmesan cheese and I'm going to hit the top of it with some Parmesan cheese. And I'm going to put this in a 400 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes. So the cheese here melts. 
the cheese sauce thickens up, and then this will be ready to come out and go. All right, guys, this just came out of the oven and went for 20 minutes, ready to go. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. All right, guys, let me get in there to try this. And I garnished it with a little bit of uh, dry parsley. I have fresh parsley, but I can only use that while it's cooking. I can't put it on afterwards or Holly won't eat it. She doesn't do fresh parsley. Chicken's tender. Pasta's cooked just right. That cheese sauce is really good. Let me get a little bit of ham with that. That's really delicious, guys, and it wasn't hard at all. Now, if you want your cheese sauce to get a little thicker, let that sit for about 15 minutes on top of the stove before you serve it, and that'll thicken it up. All right, there you have it. Chicken cordon blue skillet. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you.